I, I assume people can already see me. Hey, what's up, guys? I am sharing stuff out. That's what we're doing right now. Let's see. There's the chat. Okay. That's cool. Hey, what's up? I'm going to pop the chat out real quick. Hey. What's up, you guys? I'm tweeting it out. I'm just sitting here. You're just watching me like, oh, what am I doing? Hey. hey. Uh, so who's there? Ismail Chula, King of All Carp, Jimmy's John Cup Series, Turtang Alien, Ryan Chung, Shannon Fallon, FCH Gaming, Aaron Quote, Slimy Slimeball, Joe Hadari, Firecracker, Zach Benson, Corolla, Ethan, Seth, Con64, Turtang, Geppetto, Danielle, Elvish, Presley, Ben for Quoth. Always Ben for Quoth, right? Ah, uh, man. How, what is up, everyone? Butterfree VMAX. That's so fun. That's so fun. Love it. Love it. That's a fun card to pull. Um, let's see. I'm still... I'm going to... Let me hit... Copy. We're going to tweet it out. Yeah, there we go. All right. Cool. Come say hi, people. Um, there's that. We're going to bring this back up. And then I'm going to go share it over on the Discord as well. Hold on. Let me get this too. Don't switch. Don't care. Stop it with the pop-ups, Discord. I got it. Here we go. And send. Boom. There we go. We're in. We're done. And we're in. We're, we're everyone has been. Sh everyone has been informed. I'm gonna move this over here, so I'm not constantly staring at it. That's just gonna be there, so I can monitor the stream. Hey, what's up? Rusano the Wise, Tarm Tarm, Ethan Tucker, Seth Clapsy. Welcome, R.I.P. Engberg. Indeed. Terrible loss. Terrible loss. One of the worst. And yet, also, quite a good day over on the Nuzlocke. Am I right? Am I right? It was insanity. Oh, gosh. I can't. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I haven't streamed in so long. It's such a rare occurrence these days. Doing the old live streams. Let's see. Howdy, Project SOS. Helena, what's up? Almost casual. Hello, Jimmy John's Cup Series. Hello, hello. Hope we pull no well. Hope we pull no well. We're not going to be opening packs, really. I don't even know if I have a, a skunt. Let's see. Do I have a, a uh, skunky card at all? I don't recall. There's one. Oh, there's no well. Poison gas. You're poisoned. Yeah, do we have skunt tank? Let's find out. Nope. Guess, oh, what? Because I put stun tank. Skunt tank. There it is. Slash poison ring. Poison ring. Now poison. Or you're going to extend a retreat. So, oh, it traps them there. Of course it does. Tricky, tricky Noel. Anyway, um, it's not really. What's this? Oh, Mitch is online. That's fun. That's fun. Excellent. Perhaps we should get a message from him. How is the family? Missed the vlogs. I know. Me too. I was just watching them last night. And I was like, man, I want to do the vlog again. Problem is that I used to have time to edit vlogs. I used to have time. But now I have kids. And it's hard to have both. <laughs> so, like, like I used to stream a lot more, too, and it's a lot harder. Uh, so we're going to, I think we're going to start this evening. Oh, shit, this keyboard in the way. We're going to start this evening with this here deck. This is the one I built in the video a while ago with, with Mitch, who's online at the moment right there. Boom. Product C, what did we get? Okay, fantastic. Um... I think I'm going to start here and then I'm going to try out some other decks because this is the one I've been playing with a lot and it's just going to be like my warm up deck, right? Boom, it's great. It's Eternatus V Max. It's this big boy right here. Oh, he's so big. He's so dangerous. Uh, you get, when you put him in play, you can add more Pokemon to your bench. The more Pokemon to the bench, the more damage he does. This Dread End right here. It's super good. All of them have to be dark. That's the only caveat, which isn't really a problem. Um, that's basically the whole strategy, though. Get Eternatus in play. Fill the bench. Hit big. It's awesome. Kids are time. You can only choose one. Absolutely true. Chose kids. That was my decision. There's no take backs. <laughs> uh, Will Lars said, I've been trying to play P T uh, TCGO lately, but hasn't been connecting to any servers. Any ideas or advice? Ah, that's weird. I don't know. Um, do you have a VPN on? That might be like messing up your connection. You might need to turn that off or something. I don't, I don't know. That's just a guess. Obviously, it's working for me. Uh, bench, bench big, win big. That's right. We bench big, we we bench big, we win big. That's how it's gonna go. This is the deck right now. A lot of these cards are about to be rotated out. This Evelt's all is about to get rotated out, which is a bummer. But I'm just gonna replace it with more Moltres. Not this Moltres. A different 
Galarian Moltres. Um, they made it even more good new form. Kid social, yeah, kid, yeah. It's the, the, I always the way we think of like how you balance your life is with like light bulbs and like how much brightness you can put into each light bulb. Like you have like a hundred, you have like a hundred watts, and you can uh, you can put you can distribute them across the light bulbs. You have like free time and work and uh, family and social and. There you go. Fill those light bulbs however you want, but they probably all can't burn at maximum. Or, yeah. Pokemon Presents, so excited about both new games. They both look so awesome. I feel like today was like the turning point on the new Diamond and Pearl games where everyone's been like, I don't know about this art style. And all I saw today was everyone like, never mind, we love it, it's adorable. And I agree, I love it as well. I didn't really hate it to begin with, but... Um, there you go. I'm very excited about it. The Legends game, though, looks so good. If I if I saw it correctly, it looked like there was some sort of like Final Fantasy X battle system where you could like see the turn list, and it maybe wasn't just like straight back and forth. Like, very interested in that. Uh, let's jump onto the ladder here. Arceus looks so good. It does. And what a great day for Arceus all around because I also I got an Arceus today in the nuzlocke can you believe it i couldn't believe it I, my mind was blown we've had such a hard nuzlocke run oh i miss hello internet i know you got that reference you got that reference with the internet and the light bulbs yeah that's it that's exactly what it was from i miss it too the mons attacking you is literally the best thing ever it is it is it is amazing to me the narrative that the randomizer has just delivered to us uh throughout the playthrough it's been so much fun uh yeah Legends Arku. Let me see. Pokemon. Whoa, that's what's that smart? No, it didn't. Did the did the VPN? Was that was the smart thing? Did that work? I need to know. Can't wait for turning red. Me neither. Yay, Pixar. Anyway, as you can see, I've nicknamed my turn this deck Mitch's Unstoppable Deck because that's what I named it in the video, and that's what I'm still calling it. But I changed the deck box. Now everything is Marnie because Marnie's cool. And she uses dark Pokemon. Get it? Here we go. Look, I have a one win streak going. Whoa. Amazing. Yes. Getting ace. Huge lucky break. We want to go first with this deck. We're not going to go first. Yeah, because they won. They have a dragon box. That's spread. They're probably playing ADP then, right? Uh, but we have a Crobat start. That's terrible. This is like a support Pokemon. The idea is to play this down. And then you get to draw until you have six cards in your hands. In your hand. Um, so it's really good, but you don't want to start with it. Uh, it looks like ADP and Moltres and friends. If I had to guess, I think that's what he's playing. Uh, yep, there it is. ADP, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. Speaking of Arceus and Dialga and Palkia, there it is. This is what we need to look out for. We do not like this. There's his Crobat. See, that's how it's supposed to work. Bam. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We are off to a poor start. I dare say. Double bats. I know. It's not fantastic. We have the great ball, so maybe we can get something. And we have the research, so maybe we can get something. Uh, we can at least... We will play them. We will play them both. I'll tell you that. Hopefully we get an uh, Eternatus off of the draw. We don't have an energy in our hand. Maybe we draw an energy. Oh, we did. That's fantastic. Okay, here we go. Great ball. Let's see. Oh, nothing. Nothing. We're going to grab the lie part, I guess. Yeah, that's good because they actually put an air balloon in place. So that's pretty handy. Um, so we'll go lie part down. And we'll discard their air balloon. That's nice. ADP. The trick to playing ADP Zation with your... Um, with Eternatus. Part of it is that you put the big charms on the Crobat. Because then they can't knock them out with the Zations. Um, we are going to not attach this energy because we're going to Professor's Research. The question is, we want to play the Switch, I think, because we just want to get... This is such... Just because we want to have less cards in hand. So we're going to play the Switch. And then we're going to go Crobat to draw some cards. Maybe we get something good. Yeah. Oh, we got the Eternatus. Yay. Oh, but we're going to have to discard the VMAX. That's a bummer. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's not the best thing. We're gonna go big charm on this crowbat as well. And then we're actually gonna, we want this energy in the discard, but hopefully we get another one. Let's see. Yeah, we got one, yay. Okay, now what we really want 
We want two energy in hand. So I would, yeah, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna quick fall that down. We're gonna guarantee ourselves the Moltres. Yay, awesome. Oh, but we need, a, we need a way to switch in now. We don't have any way to switch. That's the problem we're dealing with all of a sudden. That's a real bummer. I want to be able to switch in, but I'm not going to be able to. That gives us energy there. We can great ball for another card. We probably didn't need to do that. We can go turn it there. Um, if we could attack, that would have been better because then we could have used Power Accelerator to attach another energy, but we can't, so we're going to do that. Um, we can actually just throw this back in the deck and get another Crobat next turn. That's probably what we're gonna do. Okay, we're just gonna pass. Great, great opening turn, I guess. We we turned it we turned it around. Sorry, I can't look at the chat very much once the game starts. I, it takes me so much. Oh, we have a second air balloon. Oh, we got rid of one. Okay, so we have a very tough turn coming up. The goal, this is the problem right here. What we need to do on our next turn is get Eternatus VMAX in play up into the active. We need to fill the bench and we need to get a Zigzagoon in play to ping this guy because we our maximum damage output with Eternatus is 270 and he has 280 and our Zigzagoon can add that extra 10 damage and that's what we want and we have to do it this turn or we're going to be woefully behind. Ah, he gets it. Mm -hmm. Plays the tool scrapper. Boom, boom. He's getting rid of my big charms. That's bad news. I don't like that. That means he is going to try and mow down the Crobats. What we were trying to avoid with the Big Charms was him using um, Ultimate Ray with his ADP. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is pretty good. Because we can do... Yeah. We're going to go... Pokemon Communication. Get switch you back into the deck and grab big boy grabbed a big boy here yeah this is gonna work this is gonna work nicely we're gonna do that now the top we still have to get a switch so we can get our lipard out of the active right which i think um we can quick ball down <sighs> part of me wants to put this energy on the lipard yeah i'm gonna do that or should I? Because that way we can guarantee the retreat. Um, but we still need another energy onto the VMAX. Uh, and if we, we can quick ball down. Let's do this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to quick ball down the energy and get Crobat, right? That's what's going to happen first. Because now this is... Okay, I like this. Then we're going to Dire Flame Wings. Get our energy back. Okay. Then we're going to go Crobat. Draw up to six. That's pretty solid. There's the energy. Booyah. Okay. Okay. Um, now we still have the problem. We're going to put that down. We still have the problem of needing to get Lipard out of the active and to get an energy onto Big Boy. So what we need is either switch or... Okay, we're going to do this first, right? And then we're going to go research and what we need is energy we need switch or energy switch didn't get either that's a real bummer um hmm mm, i don't like that and we stay we didn't get a zigzagoon which is crazy because i run four of them <sighs> man now we can't get out of the active which is a real problem let's see there's the goon there's big goon all right Oh, no, we did get the switch. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? This is... What we didn't get is enough Pokemon. That's what we didn't get. Sadly. Mmm, that hurts. That sucks. We got the switch. Do this. <clears throat> See, we can come in and swing big on this guy. We can't boss anything up. All we can really do, um, play down the swell. I don't think that's gonna be a big deal. Well, we're definitely gonna swing. He's gonna have like a boss or something. 
Uh, we are one Pokemon short. We need one more. We're going to miss it by 30. This is terrible. Ah, uh, man, that's a real bummer. That is a bummer. All right, well, there's nothing we can do. Big damage. There we go. All right. So the problem is he has played Ultra Creation, right? Which means all of his attacks do an extra 30 damage. And if he knocks one of our Pokemon out, he gets to take an additional prize card. Which is a real problem, because watch, he's going to boss up our Crobat. That's what he's about to do. He's going to go boss his orders on the Crobat and poof, kill it. That's what he's going to do. Watch. Ready? Oh, he played Research! Oh, okay. That's good, because now he can't play boss. But I guarantee you that's what he's looking for. Yeah, I don't like that. So what would be good for us? What would be great? He had, if we can, oh, we can't even, hmm. We pretty much want to knock out that ADP because that gives us three prizes. Because if he knocks out our Eternatus, he's going to get to take four prizes. Which is terrible. Oh, I don't like this at all. And if he hits us again, ah, oh, we already got rid of the big charms. This is not good. Right away. Okay, let's see. Should we, can we switch out? We're gonna do that. We're gonna do, ooh, okay. Maybe if we can, we can quick roll down for a Crobat, right? <laughs> so we can draw more cards. And I think what we want to do is put this energy here. And then go Crobat. And hopefully we get... Okay, okay. Well, okay, what I wanted was to get a switch and, or an energy switch. A switch and an energy switch is what we want. How much do we have? Play two switch down and one energy switch right there we have 11 cards in the deck and you got to think if we play the marnie we have a pretty good shot of getting it the question is should we knock out the adp or should we boss up one of his big hitters in the back because we get three prizes for this but then he's going to come i think we have to play the marnie because that'll that's hand disruption for him too okay we're doing that oh gosh Oh, we did not get, we didn't get anything we wanted with that Marnie. We didn't get any switches or anything. So there is, they are definitely going to take four prizes next turn. And all they need is boss's orders basically now to beat us, which is concerning. We can, well, here we go. Maybe we'll get a it doesn't matter because it's going to knock us out either way. Well, that's, it doesn't matter. Our Eternatus in the active is dead to us. That's all there is to it. Um, and the problem is we have to knock out two of his Pokemon. He has to, okay, this isn't hopeless, I suppose. Uh, but he only has to knock out two of our Pokemon, basically. And he can knock out the Zigzagoon. He put the Zigzagoon available to him. What did he just use? Did he use Reset Stance? That's unfortunate. Warburn, Warburn. Okay, so we have to... Okay, I think we have to come in. Oh, wait, but this is... No. Careful. Let's be careful here. We're going to promote Eternity. Right? That's what we're doing. And we're going to throw the energy on it. And we're going to ping something. So here's the thing. He can't hit us next turn. He needs boss's orders is what he needs to win this game, which he probably has because he's got how many are in his discard pile? None? Okay, so I think we lost <laughs> is, the, is the unfortunate truth. Um, we're going to do this. It's not super going to matter. Yeah, we're going to go there. He needs a boss's order and an energy, which shouldn't really be a problem for him. We're going to go ahead and die for him. Um, we're going to knock this thing out because that'll force him to get energy on that. But if he has boss's orders, he can just, he can just 
Well, he needs an energy card, which is not going to be hard to get. But if he does, there's the switch. Yeah. Where's all the energy switches? Yeah, okay, here we go. If he has boss, he wins. If he doesn't, we win. That's basically the game. Does he have it? Does he have it? He's got it. Look how many cards are in his hand. He's got it. Zapdos. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, he wins anyway. No, if he can get out. Because this thing... <laughs> I don't like this. Mm. Oh, no, but we have weakness. We have weakness guard. No, but it doesn't matter because it's Zapdos. Oh, no. Because it removes the energy first. Ugh. Okay, can he... He can get out. Oh, I think we lost. Yeah, for sure. For sure we lost. I don't know what this guy's doing. Now he can just bring in Zapdos and smack us for 340. Perfect. Before doing damage, discard special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. And this attack costs... Oh, so he needs a fighting energy, though. Oh, so he still needs one energy. Okay, so he needs... Oh, does he... Is he not have it? Does he not have it? What's he thinking about? He would have done it if he had it, right? He would have done it if he has it. Does he have it? That's the question. That's what we need to ask ourselves. That's what we're waiting to find out. If he doesn't have it, I bet he just concedes. And it just goes, victory! Say it. No! Oh, no. Does he have... Does he have the boss? But he doesn't even have the boss. So what's he going to get? Eldegoss lets you get a supporter from your discard pile. But he doesn't have a boss's orders. He gets back a research? Even so, he's... Okay, so he's looking for that fighting energy. That's his that's his victory condition, basically. Uh, and here he goes. Fighting energy, retreat, attack, win. That's what's going to happen. Or did it? He would have done it immediately, right? What are you thinking about, SD Fei Wang 1412? Oh! We got it! We win! Dread End! Oh, we should have lost, but we did it! Yay! <laughs> we win! Victory is ours! Boy, he had all the pieces. He was prepared for Eternatus, and he still could not handle the Eternatus. <laughs> I mean, let's see what's happening in the chat. What'd I miss? What'd you guys say? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Let's see. Five stars. There you go. Jared's Brandon. Oh, man. We shouldn't have... If he had boss's orders, we would have lost. If he had a fighting energy, we would have lost. He played Professor's Research, drew seven new cards, and got Look, we got a free dragon pole. We don't need that, because I've got way cooler ones. But we did. We won. What do you guys think of the Galarian legendary birds? I freaking love them. I think... I mean, they're great. Uh, like, Galarian Moltres is just one of my... Is one of my favorite Pokemon designs ever like it's so cool looking it's so cool looking um i like galarian's i think uh i like galarian moltres more than regular moltres but i like regular articuno and zapdos more than the galarian versions but i think they're all cool for sure uh congrats jay on the servers thing oh was that it did you have a vpn did i solve it did i fix it for you i feel i'm gonna feel man just got back from summer camp. Uh, where'd you download TCG from? I think you just go to Pokemon, literally Pokemon.com. But I think also if you just go Google download Pokemon trading card game online, I'm sure it will be the very first result. Um, for sure, if I had to guess. Uh, just got back from summer camp. Super excited to catch up on your content again. Oh, thank you, Jared. Sabrina. Santa Bria. Santa Bria. Uh, I would recommend checking out the Nuzlocke because it is fun stuff. Also, just stuff on the main channel because... I don't know if you guys will watch the Crimes of Grindelwald or the Fantastic Beast series we posted this week, but man, I'm pretty sold on them. I'm pretty sold on them. We like made one big breakthrough and it was just like, it, everything just clicked into place. I was like, oh, that's it. That's it. It has to be it. It has to be. If you thought about making how to play the TCG video, uh, we have thought about it. Yes, we have. Um, we thought about doing more TCG content. I really, I mean, I love playing this game so much. Um, this is the other, this is a, probably the next deck we're going to use here, which is really the one I'm trying to get better at using. I'm stuck in quarantine in Australia. Oh no. I hate to hear it. You hate to hear it. Rapid strike in Teleon. If you don't know, this is more or less the deck that just won player's cup. Um, like the big, the big, big old player's cup here. 
So it's pretty good. This is Rapid Strike Urshifu. It's very awesome. Super Carlin Gaming is the main channel. <laughs> not quite. Not quite. It would be insane to me if that ever happened. If this overtook the main channel. Oh man, that would be outrageous. It is never going to happen. <clears throat> Liking this week's theory. Thank you so much, Angelikai. Quite good. Are you ready for the trivia stream tomorrow? The question is, are you ready for the trivia stream tomorrow? And by tomorrow, I think you mean Friday. I don't know where, what, what day it is where you are, um, but it's on Friday, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is Jay vs. Ben. Spoilers. Those series were so good, it actually made the movie better. Thank you. Thank you. I, it's like, to me, the, the stuff we said in the theories this week, it makes it so that, like, in retrospect, Crimes of Grindelwald, like, introduced, like, all the pieces. And it's like, right now, of course, it seems like it was a total mess of a movie, because it was. But, um... Later on, you'll be like, oh, it like it led you to believe a lot of things. And that was really the uh, the goal. It's supposed to be Mr. X. And you can see so often in the way they wrote it that it's like they are coming up with the, the path they want you to take versus then the path that it's on. Like you think the reason Nagini and Credence are such good pals is because they're like outcasts at the circus. Like that is a very believable plot line. Right, like that's what they're bonding over, being outcasts. And the circus is like a traditional place for outcasts to go. Um, so you don't even question it. You're you immediately make that association. They're using that trope against you, but the real reason is because Credence can talk to snakes because he's a descendant of Slytherin. But you're not even thinking that at all, right? That's not on your radar at all when you're watching the movie. Um, plus they give you an alternate explanation, so you just roll with it. But that's the case. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Credence is a gaunt. There's no way. There's no way around it. There's no way. Especially if someone even pointed this out to me on Twitter. Gaunt and ba like if you are a his last name in the movie is Barebone, right? Like if you are if you look really skinny, like Barebone means you're like a really skinny person. Like you are just bare bones, right? Like uh, how else would you describe that as like a really uh, I don't know gaunt looking person? Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's a clue. It's all a clue. What's up? our Santas and it's like she does like that like they do that like the names are always clues like L like Remus Lupin like it's pretty easy to figure out right because like Romulus and Remus founded Rome and they were raised by wolves and Remus Lupin is a werewolf so um of course I was only what in sixth grade I wasn't old enough to know that stuff when I was first reading Prisoner of Azkaban but uh, ever thought about dipping your toes into more Pokemon theories? Yes, the Baneri hole runs super... The Baneri hole? I've never heard the Baneri theory. I like the sound of that, though. The Baneri theory. Um, so, I, we thought about it for sure. What's canon in the wizarding world? What's canon is um, the seven main books, obviously. Those are the core of everything. All the articles on... Pottermore slash Wizarding World Archive now is what it's called. Um, Quidditch Through the Ages, Fantastic Beasts, um, Tales of Beat of the Bard, and then the Fantastic Beast movies. That's what's canon. And I could, it's possible I'm missing something. There's a lot of stuff. Harry Potter's big. But that's what's canon so far. Like Wizards Unite, not canon. The other mobile game, not canon. Other video games? Uh-uh. The Baneer Hill is just clever Pokemon to say a rabbit hole. Oh, 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 I get it. Deep down the rabbit hole, the Baneer because the Baneer is a rabbit. Anyway, this is the next deck we're going to play. This is the one I'm, I'm really interested in trying out more because I have a feeling uh, post-rotation, this, this is going to be really, really good. Um, if you don't know, every, like year there's like a like a, a new set of cards rotates out of pokemon so um like for example it ha it's happening on september 10th so just like only the most recent sets are viable in what's called standard the standard format which is what i'm normally playing in so uh like this dedene and this jirachi and this mew are all going away um pokemon communications going away uh it's gonna be a bummer but either way 
the important thing, the reason this deck's gonna be so good is because this Mew is going away. What this guy does is prevents damage to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. And what this guy does is massive damage to your opponent's bench Pokemon. And this guy is the main reason basically every deck has to run Mew, but very soon, no one at all will be allowed to run Mew. So um, this guy's just gonna rain down from above with terrible fists of fury. It's gonna be great. Have you been to the Avengers campus? No, I have not. Do you consider SCB Dumbledore's plan canon? I mean, that's that's the theory, right? Is that that's the point? Um, some of it, I don't I don't know about like all of it. All the stuff in Philosopher's Stone, that um, I think I think for sure, Dumbledore was. I mean, he has known about the prophecy since before Harry was born, and he basically dedicates his life to defeating Voldemort. And he knows before Harry's even born that Harry is the one. The only one who can defeat him, right? So it's hard. To, like, it's hard to think <laughs> everything he does isn't in that effort. Um, anyway, have you been to? Someone asked me what my favorite Sword and Shield starter was. The answer is Grookey. When you do go vlog, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, you consider Dumbledore's plan canon. Yeah. Can we get a Hogwarts Legacy video when it comes out? Probably. Probably. Hogwarts Legacy looks really cool. Uh, just want to say you started Pokemon Fire Red today. That's awesome. Grookey gang. Yeah. If you could start in any region of Pokemon, which would you choose? Kanto. For sure. For sure. Uh, also, I like Kalos a lot. That's the Gen 6 one. Seems like they probably have really good food. Uh, I love the the juxtaposition of Kalos versus Kanto though like Kanto it seems like for the most part is considered where the absolute best trainers are from like red and blue and you know it's like the first one um and it's like such a more like everything in Kanto is about Pokemon training right whereas everything in Kalos everything is like so lavish there like the elite four is terrible they have these grand throne rooms when you enter i mean throne rooms when you enter the elite four in kalos they ha it's like everything is opulent these massive effects happen and they're terrible they each have like four pokemon you can bulldoze right through them they're terrible the the champion's like a movie star it's like what is this meanwhile you go to kanto the elite four are just like yeah i'm lorelei this is my swimming pool whatever let's fight it's like, yeah, oh, they like, they mean business in Kanto. Um, Unova. I would probably go, uh, I like Sinnoh too. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Probably not, um, Hoenn. It's like, way too much water, man. Way too much water in there. I don't need that. Um, Galar's pretty cool too. I don't, I, you know, they're all pretty, it's pretty fun. Anyway, let's actually play a game. Let's play a game. Should we? Should we play a game? They have a lot of time on there. Yeah, they don't, it doesn't seem like they have much to do, does it? Rapid Strike Inteleon. All right. I'm not as good at playing this one, and it requires a little bit more thought. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Unless they have four Aarons in Kanto. Yes, exactly, right? Lorelei was terrible in the last round block. Normally, she's quite difficult um, if you can't prepare for her. Let's go heads. We definitely want to go first. Oh, we lost the coin flip. We're going second because he's going to choose to go first. Yeah. Of course. Did you like the totem Pokemon in Sun and Moon? No, I didn't. Although, that's not a bad place to live. I'll tell you that. We're going to start the Sobble. Because uh, we have to. We didn't get... We'll be able to play the Marnie, I guess. And we can play the Sobbles down as well. What is he... Oh, he had the Dene start. So, slow start for them as well. We'll see what they make of it. Quick Ball. What are they playing? Hard to say just yet. They have the Charizard Sleeves. Oh, Metal. ADP again. More Osseus Dialgan Porkia. All right. Well, that's... Uh, here, Arceus the Algan Palkia about to rotate out as well. Everyone's excited about that. Get rid of that reset stamp. Thank you. He's definitely going to like Crobat or Jirachi or something, though, because he's running his hand down. So, oh, he's going to Intrepid Sword. Ready? Saucer. <laughs> Intrepid Sword. <laughs> yep. All righty then. He has no idea at all what we're playing. We're going to play all these Sobbles down. We don't need the Jirachi because he's not going to be playing any Psychic Pokemon. And this just removes Psychic Weakness. So we don't need to worry about that. 
Um, the evolution incense, the Marnie, the energy. Uh, I think we might just have to do the keep calling is what I am thinking. There's nothing, we don't really need to use the Evo incense just yet. Um, we can use it next turn for sure. I think we're just gonna go like, this will reveal what we're playing, but that's okay. Yeah, we're gonna just gonna, I guess we're just gonna, f yeah, we're just gonna go keep calling here. Just like that, boom, boom, boom. Done. All right, full bench, first turn. Here we go. <laughs> and we have telegraphed exactly what we're playing. Um, that's okay. That's okay. This guy, yeah, he's like, get this guy out of the active immediately. E switch, boom, he's gonna go metal to here, retreat, altered creation, and then the clock is ticking. Then the clock is ticking. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. That's a bummer that he got to play that. Um, what's he gonna, now he's probably gonna have all sorts of stuff he can do. He's definitely gonna retreat and do altered creation though. That's a bummer. Isn't Whitney in Johto? Yeah, Whitney's in Johto. For sure. So it was, oh, it's Mewtwo and ADP. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Oh, you gonna be like that? You gonna be like that? 270? This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be, to say the least. Um, we're gonna go Evo Incense here. Get the Drizzile for sure. Which means we can get a trainer card out of the deck, but the question is what do we want? What do we want? What's gonna be good? What can we use immediately? I guess we could go for like a switch or like a, um, the water tower could be good. We could even just research. I guess. We don't need to get any like balls or anything out. Marnie. We can there and yeah, we're gonna do this for sure. Let's see. Escape rope. Not bad. We can get the Evo incense. Uh, and then we can get the um We do need to get an evolution incense to get no, let's get the we can get the calm. I guess that's not bad. Because we no, it would be better to get no, not close ball. We could thin the deck out some, I suppose. We can go research. We've already got the Marnie, though. Um, the comm's not bad. The Evo Incense is better. Let's go Evo Incense. We're gonna Marnie. That's gonna give us some more options. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get big guns. We're gonna evolve it. We need an energy as well. Realize that. That. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. All right. Well, it's not. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. We could do. We're gonna retreat. All right. We have to basically hard retreat. Hard retreat into you. That's okay. We can still hit this thing pretty solid. We can go with the old Gale Thrustington here. Boom. Solid. Okay. And then next turn, we can... If he, he can't really retreat this now, I'll tell you what. He can't retreat it. So actually what we want to do, if we can find an escape rope, and the tower, that's what we really want. We don't even, no, we don't even need that. We just need the escape rope. The escape rope, yeah, that'd be good. Escape rope and tower would be good. I would be okay with those cards. We might, yeah, we might quick ball out. Oh, oh, that what you're gonna do? That's your move? Going for the big Jirachi up front? You, you should not have done that. I can knock both of these out and take five prize cards now. Are you aware of that? There's no way he's gonna keep this up here. But he's gotta bring it back out. I don't know why he did that. That seems like a weird move. If you ask me. You gonna play that down? Yeah, yeah. And 
And then we just have to knock out one thing. So we can really put pressure on. And we have research. Which is, yeah. Either way, we can knock it out. It doesn't matter. This thing, this guy is... We're about to take five prize cards. Unless he can knock us out, which he can't. This guy is in. Oh, it's going to be very close. It's going to be very close, you guys. It's going to be very, very close. Uh, I don't know if we're in a great spot. Because if he knocks us out, and he'll be able to. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So... 220 and 270. This thing, if we can knock out this and this, then we're in a really good spot. Let's go, first of all, level ball, right? And we want Drizzile. We only have one more Drizzile? Oh, that's not Do we need the switch or not? Oh, we don't need the escape rope so much because we don't, okay. We don't really need the tower either. So let's see, let's go. Drizzle. Yeah, and what do we need though? The reset stamp, not yet, not yet with the reset stamp. The tool scrapper? No. The tower's not bad. If we can pull up... No. Let's see. We already have the researches. I might just get the tower, because that's solid. I might just get the tower. I could love... No, level ball won't help us, because there's not another. I'm just going to get the tower. This gives us free retreat. And then we're going to go right, quick ball. Get rid of the research. And we're just going to grab none of these are particularly helpful at the moment, sadly. Um, but we definitely don't need this one at all. So we're just going to grab the Jirachi to thin the deck out. And then what we're going to do, let's see, could we... I think we have to put the rapid strike on this sucks i don't want to put the rapid strike on here i would rather put it somewhere else but i don't think we have a choice because we want to be able to use gmax rapid flow which is no oh wait 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 we need to okay yeah this is good we can we do need to escape rope because we need this to be on the bench that's important Okay, we know. Make sure we put a rapid strike Pokemon in the active. That's another important thing. Okay, here we go. Um, escape rope. And then he's got to put something up. This is good, but he will probably no. It doesn't matter if he puts the Denny up. I think we can still take. We can put a ton of pressure on. Jordan, are you in here? What's up? Hey, how's it going? Are you watching the? Are you watching the stream here? Having fun, working to working, working the overtimes. We're, yeah, we're gonna choose Sobble to be our active Pokemon, like a boss. And then what we can do? Is, I see. I wish so we can retreat. We can do 180 to two different Pokemon. We can do. We can knock this out because it's weak to fighting. So this thing is going down, and then we can do 180, and that'll knock him out. And if we do 180 here then what we need then we'd only need uh, but then that doesn't really help us i don't think we do 180 180. we need to be able we're gonna retreat uh, i think i feel like we're gonna get very close and then lose and it's gonna be terrible uh because we can knock here's this is the problem is knocking out the next the next we're gonna have to knock out one more pokemon i'm not sure we can do it on our next turn that's the problem and he's gonna be able to knock out this and then we're not gonna be able to knock something out and then he's definitely gonna be able to knock out our next pokemon so i feel like we're not in a good position but here we go anyway we're gonna go boom and boom and watch it five prize cards uh i don't know if we should have maybe done one of these instead damage on there we maybe 
should have. Five prizes, one turn. Pretty solid, no matter what, but still. We don't have... The problem is if he takes four with this, then he can knock out any of our other Pokemon, and then that's just it. So, and I don't think we'll be able to take out... The most we're going to be able to do next turn is... Yeah, I don't think we have it. He's going to have to do something really dumb for us to get a win here. That's what's going to have to happen. Because we don't have another Urshifu on the bench. If we had this on the bench right now, we might be able to do it. Because we could hit for 150 next turn. But we don't. Oh, well, okay. Maybe if we get... No, it's still not going to matter. I was thinking maybe if we got the Expert Belt, we could do it. But it won't matter. Because now, yeah. I think he's got it. Oh, we're going to lose. I hate it. Well, if, if this guy had the damage on it, though, instead. If, the, if we put the damage on the Mewtwo, what would that be? And then we would have been able to hit it. Then we've only taken three prizes, and he'd have 180. And then we don't have to be able to do... Yeah, that might have been the better way to do it. I still don't think we could have done the full... Damage is the problem. It doesn't matter what we put up front. We're going to go with the Drizzile, though. It doesn't matter, because we have the air balloon. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Here we go. We definitely want you down, I suppose. We're definitely going to put an air balloon on you. Let's see. Let's see. I don't I don't think we have it. I don't think we have it. Let's see. We can go. That. Uh, yeah. Do we have the expert belt in the deck? We do. If you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. No, it doesn't help us because we don't have more prize cards remaining. No! Okay, so that's not helpful. Um, the reset stamp is good, but it does not matter. Uh, maybe boss? Do we have boss at hand? We don't have boss. Okay. I don't think it's going to matter. Or either of you, you're not. Yeah, you're weak to fire and you're weak to grass. The boss doesn't help, except that it maybe buys us a turn, except it's not going to matter. Oh, gosh. We're going to get the boss, I guess. We'll get the boss, because we don't need the, like, we have enough cards otherwise. Right? It's just not going to matter. We're not going to be able to live it. Unless he, unless he can... No, because he can just retreat the Zacian. No, we have so lost this game. It is such a massive bummer. Uh, we can do this. I'm like, <laughs> I just, I know we've lost it. I, I don't want it to be true. The reset stamp might be good. I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, none of the other cards are going to help us right now, though. Okay, we're going to get the reset stamp. I guess. There we go. Resets down. Hooray. Um, now that puts him down to two cards in hand. I can. Uh, it's so close. It's so close. You know what I mean? We can quick ball down the tool scrapper. Get the Mew. That doesn't matter. We don't have enough. To get, we're, we've just so lost. It's such a bummer. We're gonna go quick ball. We're gonna calm out the quick shooting in Teleon. Gosh, it's not gonna matter. Right. We can calm out the quick shooting in Teleon. 
Oh, it's so close and yet so far. We can't get another energy onto our airship. If we could get one... We can boss up this. And it doesn't matter because he can just retreat. Because he has enough to retreat and he has enough to retreat. And we can't even hit for more than 70... He can hit for so much. We have to do that. We have to go quick shooting. And I'm just wasting this guy's time. We It's so close. And yet it will not <laughs> we are even weak to Psychic, so we are just so... Yeah, he's just going to wreck us. We could have used the Mew, actually, except we filled the bench. Um, we're so close. He has to make just a horrible mistake, this is what it comes down to, and he won't. Cause, yeah. All we can do. Look. Ugh. Straight. And I guess it doesn't. We can try and hide back here. <laughs> it won't matter. He has he could easily knock us out. No matter what. Yeah. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm just messing. I'm like just thinking about it too much. Yes, this is Marnie, the girl from Sword and Shield on the cards. Uh also losing Dur I know we're losing Jirachi, right? So that'll, it's less protection, but it's not good. You've already won. What are you doing? Just, you can hard retreat. You don't need the air balloon. You don't even need to do that. You've already won. You hard retreat. Yep. We, ah, it was close. I don't know if we... We bench too much early. Was that the problem? Did we bench too much? Maybe we shouldn't have put the other sobble down. Then we could have. Then we could have put the Jirachi down. I don't know. I don't know what we could have done. Oh, just wanted to send you some big ups. Mother and I came back to Pokemon for several family tragedies and watch and discuss HP theories. And you know, like Pokemon comforts us and. You have, oh, thank you so much, and oh man, that was a weird drop off in viewers all of a sudden. What just happened? I don't know, maybe that was a glitch on YouTube. Well, otherwise, hey, bye. <laughs> um, we're going to keep playing. We're going to keep playing. We're just going to go again. Let's go. We're going to play on the TCG Online, especially theme decks like the old days. Oh, yeah. Theme decks are fun. Theme decks are fun. This is just torture half the time. It's just like, ah, we were so close. Where is everyone? Where is everyone? Oh, see, there it is. Okay, please wait while you're prepared. Look, we have another We have another Sobble start. Lovely. Not the worst, but not the best. Because we don't have any other Pokemon or any draw supporter. So we. this might be a very short. This is going to be a very short game. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah. Yeah, ah, this is bad. We're just gonna... Oh my gosh, if he could attack, he could win right now. We're just gonna hit him. That's terrible. That's a pretty bad start for us. It's really bad. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, really very bad. Might be back later. Bye, Will! Oh no, not more glitching. No, this isn't even glitching. Oh, you mean on <laughs> Dakota you're talking about on the... Uh... Yeah. Can they win? Can they do it right now? Can they be aggressive and get the 60 damage off? They might be able to if they can get. Oh, they'd be so close. Metal Gun. Are they just going to go for... This is a really defensive build they have here. Oh, they don't. We survived. Miraculously. We got the Metal Goggles on. We don't love that. Oh, here we go. Um... Evolution incense. We pretty much have to get the, the Drizzile. But what are we going to get from there? Probably just Quick Ball Jirachi or Dedenne, I guess. 
Uh, we could get the... We could get the Pokecom. We could get... I feel like we really need a draw, <laughs> is what we have to do. Um, yeah, we're not gonna have... Yeah, so we're not gonna have so we are just gonna, I think we're gonna get like a quick ball maybe here. Oh, but then we're not gonna be able to, quick ball is no good. Cause what we really need is like the research, right? Maybe what we need is the polka calm. No, hold on. If we calm, we can get, I want the rapid strike so we can get that on, but then we won't be, we need oh, butts. Okay. This is just unfortunate. We just don't have the cards to get what we need. Um, but we really need to get, like, we need a draw. That's the that's the sad truth of it all. Maybe we get, let's go Marnie. Let's get a Marnie. Because <laughs> we definitely need something here, right? That's what we need. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just tool scrapper off that thing. We don't like that. Uh, they've got so many cards in hand. I don't feel bad about the Marnels here. Yeah, yes, I get it. When we get 100,000 subscribers? I don't know, but if you're watching and you're not subscribed, go ahead and do it. <laughs> that's all I could say. You know, not gonna, that's pretty cool if you ask me. Um, we're just gonna quick ball away the Inteleon and grab the Dene. Boy, we are not doing great on the draws here today. Yes, draw six cards. We gotta get good cards at some point, right? At some point. Gotta be down. We're gonna throw the energy on there. Um, and now we don't have, and we're gonna go ahead and throw the, uh, do we wanna throw that Sobble down? Yeah, we do, cause, yeah, that's what we're doing. I think we're gonna keep the tower in hand at the moment in case they play a stadium that way we can bump the stadium uh and we don't need to use it this turn so we're just gonna pass great okay get good cards i subscribe yay well done well done people good job for subscribing good job for hitting that like button too it is always very helpful when you guys hit the like button oh you have another metal goggles i should have waited on the tool scrapper well maybe not thin the deck out anyway am i right I am subscribed. Good, 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 good. <laughs> no idea what this is, but you're live, so I'm here. Welcome, Danny. This is the Pokemon trading card game. A popular pastime for the past 25 years. Not as well, you, know, uh, you know, for people in general. Oh, uh, yeah, look at this guy. This is his big... This is tricky. If you use this full metal wall, he can completely get all the energy off you. So, one of the ways around this is just, what are you doing, a trumpet sword? That doesn't draw cards. Yeah. So, what we want here is, so I think um, a Pokemon, no, Pokemon, we can just research. Um, let's throw the tower down now, right? And then we can Drizzile. We get a trainer card out of our deck. Any trainer card. This is such a good card. Right? We could actually just go, mm -hmm. what are we gonna get? We have the research, so I'm not really that concerned. I think we're just gonna get the Evo incense right there. Beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna go Evo incense and we're gonna get big guns. Hello. We get that guy. Right under the deck. Uh, this guy, uh, we're not going to play the research reset stamp because he's got five cards and that would give him six. Have you ever played the card game physically in a club setting? I have tried. Yes, I have. Um, <clears throat> I keep trying to play with people and it keeps not working. <laughs> people keep not showing up to the trading card game store, which is very frustrating. This is a bummer. Look at this. We have two more VMAXs in hand. We don't need both of them, I don't think. Uh, so we can probably just quick ball one away for something else, just for the sake of drawing. We didn't get a switch. My goodness. That's a bummer. I mean, we can manually switch, I guess, and hit this thing for a good one. I guess we're going to do that. We're going to 
gonna put this thing. I'm gonna retreat into you. And we're gonna hit this thing for a uh, hundred and well, he's got the metal goggles on, so for what, one twenty? On the field. That is the that is not their ability. I was like, what a second, what is that? <clears throat> Two tag team cards. Oh dear. Yeah, I would love to play it physically. I've got tons of physical cards that I'm trying to use in per Oh, you're gonna Mallow and Lana me. He's gonna heal all that damage off, y'all. That is a bummer. And he's gonna switch in his Lucario Mel Metal, which is also a bummer. And He's gonna remove my energy. I'm gonna use full metal wall. Yep. Heal the damage off. Full metal wall. Mm. I saw that coming a mile away. Well, that was a productive turn for him. No doubt. Let's go level ball. We're gonna grab the this. Do we have another? Do we have a um, Pokemon communication in here? We do. Okay. That's lovely. Well, no big deal. We can deal. We can handle it. Yeah, we want it. We're gonna grab. Oh, we can escape rope. That's not bad. We might, escape rope is good. Our shady dealings in Teleon is gone, sadly. Escape rope's not a bad idea. I don't hate that. Hmm. Or we could try and start pinging. Hmm, show my minutes. We escape rope, we don't have another energy. That'll for he'll just put this thing in the active as so that's not gonna work. If you can just do that. We're not gonna do that. Instead, what we're gonna do is grab Pokemon. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay, I'm sorry. And we're just gonna Pokecom uh this into the deck, and we're gonna grab this Inteleon. Booyah. And we're gonna start annoying this guy. Right there. Okay. Okay. This thing doesn't take damage from VMAX Pokemon, so there's that. That's another thing we're gonna have to contend with. Um, I think we're immediately just gonna start pinging. Yeah, we're gonna start pinging you. You guys, like, you are the worst, man. We're gonna quick fall out the Jirachi. We don't need the Mew, so we're gonna get that. That was just dumb. I don't know why I did that. Basically, I just took the Jirachi out of the deck, is why I was doing that. Ah, I made some money there. I need an energy. I do need an energy. Which we are not getting. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. Well, quick shooting. We can go right there. And then what we're going to do is probably retreat, because I don't want to take damage on this guy, is how I'm feeling. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna retreat you there. All right, cool. Awesome. Done. Don't have any energy. Terrible. He's gonna knock it out, and then we're gonna play our Urshifu down. That's what's gonna happen. I'm sure there's some card shops that run tournaments nearby if not drive away. Yeah. Tons of physical cards? That may be a little estimate. I mean, if, unless by tons, I mean more than 2,000 physical cards, not tons, of, like 2,000 pounds but i have lots of physical cards and i am having fun like building the like, power plant oh no power plant just turns off gx abilities i believe okay so we don't play any other dedenes and that's the only gx card in here so this does nothing except it gets rid of our tower of water which is a bummer but um doesn't actually otherwise affect us that other good boxing. Oh, we got more unboxings coming. Evolving Skies coming out very soon. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Ooh, Karate Belt. Okay, that could be good. We don't have Telescopic Sight yet. The question is, do we want to put the Karate Belt on our Urshifu or not? I think I want the Telescopic Sight more than the Urshifu. We're gonna do this. Quick shooting. There. We're gonna put on 60. We're gonna put on... 80, what is 80 plus 150, 230? Yeah, okay. 
So, sadly... Let's just level ball real quick and see. Yeah, we don't need the Mew. So let's just go ahead and get that out of the deck because we don't need it. We don't want to draw it as one of our seven cards. Karate Belt could come in handy, but I think we'd rather have Telescopic Sight. Let me double check. We haven't already gotten rid of Telescopic Sight. We have not. Okay, good. So I don't think we're going to Karate Belt. Sadly, I think what we're going to have to do is just... I get it. We're going to have to get rid of the Urshifus. There's the Telescopic Sight. That's good. We're going to get... Maybe we should wait to actually do it. Um, I don't have a switch. The number of times. This has been such a freaking problem. I don't have the switches. It's okay. We're going we're gonna to figure it out. If we can get in. Does this thing prevent all damage done to the Pokemon attacks or part of the Pokemon? Difficult to know. Okay, I think we're just going to pass. We're gonna have to research again next turn. Basically, the prop. Mm, this is getting tricky. So, if we can come up and do 150, what do we need to get him down? Um, 150 plus 80 is 230. So, if we hit him two more times. He'll be within range. So if we ping that Luke Luke medal two more times. No, because he's going to take only 120. Oh, God. See, Marnie? Butts. Okay. Well, it might not be that bad. I don't know how... The full metal wall affects G-Max Rapid Flow. I guess it'll affect it. He's got the... I'm not going to be able to do damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to put you in the act. So we can pivot! So we can pivot! Um, we need to do more damage to you! Hundred and twenty damage. That's solid. And if we can hit it for this is gonna be doing one eighty minus thirty one fifty plus one twenty two seventy. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so close. No, that'll be enough. Okay, we're gonna do this. Oh no, I can't retreat. <laughs> this is terrible. <gasps> I forgot the. I forgot that we don't have the rapid strike in. Oh. This is terrible. I was just gonna knock out our Inteleon. He's gonna boss up. He's gonna boss the V Max and then attack it. No. Oh, I didn't even it. We need one energy. There it is. Okay, that's good. And now we start our assault on What? Well, that was weird. I don't know why that didn't work. Oh no, attacks and abilities. Okay, well, we're just gonna keep it. In. No bigs. I did not realize that. We're gonna go use. We're gonna go retreat. And then we're gonna go do what we have to do. What we have to do. This is a hard matchup, you guys. Um, there and there, I think. Knocked out. Now, that's good. How much should we do here? Just 90, though? Mm, not going to be enough. And we can't do any damage to this. Oh, the problem is the metal goggles are going to stall us out forever. Well, this is a problem. This is a problem. Zamazenta is a real problem. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't like this. No, I don't. I don't think I can do... Okay, well, we're just gonna do that. I guess. Which is better than... You know, complete nothing. Doesn't do us any good. And if he assault tackles us, discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Then he'll be able to discard our rapid strike energy. So we can't do that, man. We are in a tight spot. We're in a tight spot. Okay. We can escape rope though. This will work. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's still not going to be enough damage. Incorrect. Not the attack. 180. Now he is definitely going to be able to switch it out, I'm betting. Mm. Oh, he's got another Malawana. They're going to lose. He's got more health. He's got. What's his back? He's only got 60 damage on it now. And it doesn't matter because I can't do anything to. This, it's taking minus 60, and we could at best do 70. Like, we're in a bad position. That's for certain. Like, because he's not going to play any other Pokemon down. All we can hope to do is deck him out, which we're obviously not going to do, because we have way more. Like, I can't use my quick shooting on these guys, because of the freaking... I think we've lost, which is a real bummer. I can't get rid of these. And that's not gonna do any damage. That's zero. And he's definitely just gonna be able to retreat again. Unless unless he's completely out of energy, which he's not, because he's played more two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Nope, he still has a switch. Oh, there is too, because he's not going to play any more Pokemon down. Yeah, we have definitely lost. Like, unless we could trap it, I guess. Even then, there's no way. It doesn't matter if we trap it or not, though. Like, you know what? It, oh, though this could work, maybe. Um, not probably very good level ball. What's left in the deck? Uh, a single energy. Mm, I don't like our odds, though. Yeah, we're we're we've lost. That timer bell is getting to me. Oh, you think, Matt? It's the timer bell is so frustrating. It's just like, uh, uh, uh. I'm thinking. I'm trying to think faster. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think faster. I can't think this fast. I don't want to lose. Got to make the right decision. Kind of make the most optimal. Not been, not been playing optimally. I wouldn't say those last two games have been disappointing. What's up with the main channel? Uh, most of the, nothing in particular. It's just the weird. Sometimes we just when we're like um, traveling. Basically, I had to record last Thursday's video because Ben wasn't home from vacation. And I came home from vacation a day early, so I happened to be in office. So I was able to do it a day early, and that was just the way it happened. So um, this is as painful as watching. It's not that painful. It's not that painful. Oh, uh, I think I'm going to go. I'm going to try a turn this again. I'm more comfortable with this deck. I've played it way more. Are you saying it's painful because my play is poor or because... It's just sad watching the Pokemon die. Hopefully, like, I need to, you know. Yes, I would like to go for it. I guess we can go if we don't. Let me see. Yeah, let's go. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
Your opponent is selecting their Pokemon. Sure they are. Oh, weakness guard. I think we might start with that. Let's go. Great ball. And I think what we're going to get is another E-turn. Not necessarily the start we wanted. To be certain. Oh, this guy's playing something funky. This is the thing we do. Sweet to dark, though. That's good for us. So we're going to put... Weakness. We didn't get a Crobat yet, which is a bummer. Oh, I thought we were going to be able to Power Accelerate. Obviously, it's our first turn. We can't do that. <laughs> so smart. <clears throat> anyway. Um, they're probably playing Path to the Peak, so I'm going to save my Chaotic Swell. Done. Pass. Go. Nope. That's not the problem. Not the problem. Every time a Sobble dies, I cry inside. Oh no, I'm sorry. Well, there's no Sobbles in this deck. So, oh, there's a Sobble there. I'm probably, if I can, I will knock those out though. I'll tell you what. So many Sobbles being run these days. No Sobble engines. Oh goodness. Let's see what this person's doing. This Cobalion has been popular lately because of the, um, it's a, whatever. Suddenly everyone's like, Iron Rule GX. During your opponent's next turn, their Pokemon can't attack. So that is pretty good, I guess. For a single energy, I mean, why not, right? Go for it. I don't know why this hasn't been popular the whole time. Maybe it has, but I've just been missing it. But. Oh boy. Um, let's see. So the bummer is that we can't hit for very much damage. We hit for 90 damage. That's the that's sort of the bummer, and we're not going to get be able to activate our live hard's ability. Uh, but we should, whether we do sixty or ninety, does it does matter? Because then we can two shot this thing if it's ninety. So we do have to play this down, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to go with that, and then we'll just dread in. Lucky we are not getting a Crobat. If we get a Crobat, we are going to be rolling. Do you cry or do you sobble? Oh, nailed it. <clears throat> uh, ben Baby Stuff, though, they are in the third trimester, so they are getting... Oops. Oops. Baby on the way. What's this guy thinking? Coda Dave. You'd think this is a good matchup for us, right? Because they have the Dragapult and we're dark. And if they evolve it into the VMAX, which you got to think they want to do. Well, maybe they don't want to do it, though, because um, <clears throat> then we can take three prizes. Right? Like if we got, we, we still couldn't yet, actually. We really need a draw supporter or a Crobat. And there's plenty of the deck. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna do this. This is how you want to play it. This is how you want to play it, dude. It actually, it, well, it would be a problem. You gonna escape rope me? I guess I'm gonna bring up Eternatus. Mm hmm. This is annoying. Well, I can still hit him with Power Accelerator and do 60 damage, I guess. That's not the worst. I'll take damage back, sadly, because it is. Um, horror energy. What are the odds someone watching you is also playing against you? I would say pretty low. Pretty low. If you're, if you were in the audience, Coda Dave, well, have a welcome look at my hand, I suppose. Oh, boy. Let's see. What's this guy going to do? He's definitely going to jet assault for 140, I think. Oh, you're going to play down the end? Yeah. Right? 140 to 80 more? Yeah, I'm gonna jet assault for 140. It's gonna hurt. Pokemon communication. What are you gonna get? Hi there, long time viewer, but first time I've caught you on Pokemon TCG Chosen. I didn't know you played. Do you also play the TCG? Um yes I do. Yes I do. I try to. The uh the card shops here have been not as populated with Pokemon players. 
Chukas. 30, damage here. I'm gonna put them all on there, I'm sure. One, two, three, four, five. There's the Marnsicle. Excellent. So now we're gonna go like this, like this. And we're just gonna go big Marnie, I think. Um, I guess. No, we're going Marnie. Please get more. Okay, this works, I guess. We still, we still didn't get. Um, we still didn't get another Pokemon. This is terrible. Yo, energy switch. That's so annoying. I cannot, we need, if we had one, how much do we need? Oh, that's just so annoying. We can try that in this game. 180. He's in range. I'll tell you that. We took 150 off it. So if he hits us again, though, we're at 280. Oh, it's going to be, we're going to be awful close. This is going to be a tight match. I cannot believe we have whiffed on the... <laughs> Pokemon, you never, <laughs> that is, that's unbelievable. We didn't get a quick ball. We didn't get a calm. We didn't get, we didn't even get a, uh, this is so annoying. We so, this is like, we should have full bench. The Zigzagoons we have to watch out for though. Cause this thing can um, pick them off pretty easy. So could this, oh, you have shady dealings. He's got shit. This is not the Inteleon we were playing. He, this one lets you get two trainer cards from your deck, not ping your opponent. <sighs> This is annoying. If we hit this guy again, though, we're taking three prizes, so that's nice. And he's definitely going to leave him in the active, you'd think, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he's going to... He could switch out and use Iron Rule, I guess. He could buy himself a turn. I'm not sure if that would be good. Marnie! Do it! Marnie me! Evo Incense. What you getting? What are you getting? Oh, that's better. Okay. Yep. Let's see what you're going for here. Rare Candy, Sobble, Inteleon. Who are you going to quit? Oh, the double. The double. Okay. There's the Marnie. Yeah, do it. Give me new cards. 14 packs of Evolving Size. That's awesome. Very fun. Oh, one more. Gosh. We got the boss. That's something. Are we going to Ordinary Rod? I can't believe the lack of draw power we've had in this game. This guy should be getting destroyed. We have boss. So let's see. We're going to have four in play, right? That's pretty solid. That means we'll have 120, 240. So that's not enough. <clears throat> Sadly, it'll be if we knock out one, two, boom, boom, that's game. Uh, we can knock this one out next turn. Yeah, because he wants me to not... He wants me to die from... This guy again? 300. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's smart. Um, yeah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to calm away the Eternatus. Get... The Crobat, goodness me, this is all such nonsense. We're gonna put this energy here. Should we boss? Should we boss? It, he's already got. Here's what he wants to do, right? He wants me to hit this horror energy, and then next turn he wants to ping me with the Inteleon. Which is gonna work. It's gonna work. But we're gonna take three prizes. The question is, and we're gonna knock this one out. That's what's gonna happen. So we're not gonna boss, which is a bummer. We're just gonna crow bat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we have the crow bat for next turn. What we could do, we have the research. Uh, no, we already played the live hard. We don't have the Eveltal. And we can't get an energy on the Eveltal, which is a bummer. 
but we can still i don't want to put another eternatus down i don't we want a moltres that's what we want i'm gonna go there i'm gonna get you that's what we want building up the bench space people building up the bench i want the one two three four five so now we're hitting for 150 and next turn we will have more than enough to knock out that thing plus boss in hand so um we will need i'm feeling okay i'm feeling okay he's gonna have to knock us he's gonna have to win next turn basically right which he I, So he has to win this and he has to take six prizes this turn <clears throat> which means he has to find a way he can ping this one down immediately right so it means he has to find a way to knock this one out so he has to find 240 damage this turn so he's gonna spend 20 of it on this one and this can only hit for 130. um yeah so i don't think i think we've got it I think we've got it. Oh, maybe he can ping again. <coughs> quick shooting. Okay. Two quick shootings. Oh, the reset stamp. That hurts. That hurts. Okay. All right. Well, it's less certain, but we got the crowbat. So it's more certain. More certain. What are you going to draw? 190? It's not enough. <coughs> Throw that. Okay, so that knocks us out. And then he can only hit us for 150 more. That'll bring the 250. And then even if we hit into him. Yeah. So and he, there's nothing on the bench he can knock out either. And we're definitely just gonna quick ball for something, and then we'll crow bat. And we'll get something else. So I'm feeling pretty good. He could retreat, I guess. If he he could he could hide. That's what he could do. But then he won't be doing damage. If what's he gonna do? If he stays up, he loses. So I don't know. I don't know what he's gonna do. Maybe he could iron rule. Maybe this would be the time to do that. Give himself another chance to ping for... He can hit us for 40 more damage next turn then. Um, that would be annoying. That would be really annoying. Nope. I'm sure we win. We just have one, two, three. Yeah. And then he can just spread the damage down here. But that's not going to be enough to win. How much do we need to do? 320... One, two, three, four. So, oh, that's nice. <clears throat> so first, let's die flame wing. Just to be safe. Next, we're going to quick ball down the energy switch and get a. I don't know if it even matters. I'm gonna get a zigzagoon. It's not gonna matter. Because we're going to win anyway. I'm going to play it. Go right there. And then we're going to go Crobat. Yes. Wow. That's hilarious. I'm going to go that. There. I'm going to go Quick Ball. And we're going to go Moltres. It doesn't really matter. We're just styling on this guy now. Because we've won. And then we win! <laughs> we were just making sure. Making sure we are bench was absolutely loaded. <laughs> and you know, I got pretty good. Cool. I got um, four of the battle and build boxes, um, which was great. Uh, we actually got the gold foot strike and Pelion, which was awesome. Uh, and I got two of the Zapdos, one of the Flappy, and one of the uh, Moltres as like the promo cards. So that was all pretty good. That was all pretty good.
And then the Flaffy comes with more Flaffies, which is awesome, because really what you want is the Rayquaza stuff, am I right? Um, oh, goodness. Here's the drink. Hawking. Look at that. Eternatus is so good. I mean, we, we had weakness in that game, so that, that helps. Um, you're after the Ray right now. I don't know if you'd be that lucky. Boss artists are nice. They are. Yeah, the... I like the Giovanni bosses. Those are the best. It's a shame you had to involve the Sobble's port. I didn't knock out a single Sobble in that game, okay? Beth and Rumsey. I knocked out two Dragapults, and that was it. Now we made the, the quick and easy way to victory. The Sobbles almost killed me with their Inteleon pew pew finger guns. Literal, and I mean finger guns. That's literally what they're doing. Still working on finding a Galarian Moltres from Chilling Rain. Like any Galarian Moltres or like the alt art one? It took us forever to get the alt art one. Um, but this one, we finally got it. Ready, Galarian. brother oh what was that someone i don't even know what that was for I'll watch it back it's called hey brother is that subscribing i think so <laughs> this this card right here boom uh this card in real life the physical card is probably my favorite artwork on a card ever i just love this card so much it is so cool it is like the the premier card of our collection, I think. Alt art, not online, in real life. Yeah. Yeah, this card. This one's the one you're looking for. I don't blame you, because it's awesome and super hard to get. Um, very difficult. We we got all the we got all the alt art birds in person, and Ben informed me today that he bought the uh, the Blaziken. Look at it. Yes. This we the physical card is on its way to us. Ah, oh, this card is so cool. I love it. What fun artwork. Ah. It's awesome. It's very good. That's what I'm trying to pull. Yeah, get it as a tattoo. Not a bad idea. Full back, right? Full back Galarian Moltres. Whoa, pink pink fire coming off. That'd be pretty sick. Pretty sick. I'd be all about that. Well, I mean, I say that. I don't um I don't have any tattoos, so Pokemon's a good is a good area for me to look for tattoo stuff because I don't feel like it's going away, you know. And I've loved it for a very long time. Yeah, this this one super cool. The one that continues to elude us in real life is the uh, um. Please don't freeze. This ugh. Cannot get this one anywhere. I love this card too. The Sleeping Tyranitar. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, it's so good. And it's pretty good. It's a pretty good card. <clears throat> the weird clay model designs on cards. Yeah, they still exist. There's still some. I think like, um, I think Klebopus is one. Right? They used it. Like this. Is this what you're talking about? Clay models? Yeah. I know. You're all like, wait, isn't it Klebopus? No. It's Clubopus, obviously. Look, Clubopus, right? That's how you say it. I don't know why you'd say it any other way. That's definitely, even if you, like, you have to agree, Clubopus is definitely the cuter way to say it. Um, oh, look. I didn't know this is the shiny Clubopus. It's so fun. <clears throat> Just joined Riley Atkinson. What's up? We are playing Pokemon cards, talking about things we're looking for. Playing Emerald by watching my shroomish, wanted to learn headbutt, and well, well, you know what they say about headbutt. You headbutt, you win butt. We should put that on a t-shirt, right? You headbutt, you win butt. Oh, man. All the things I want to do. If you don't know, the... Let me see if it's there yet. Hold on. I'm going to check super... Oh, yeah. No. The, um, if you watch the, um whatchamacallit, the Nuzlocke with the Rain Dance team with the shiny Sporkles. Uh, that print is going to be available on SuperCollinBrothers.store tomorrow. It's going to be um, cool. And they'll all be signed. Ben and I signed them today. Uh, that's a t-shirt I'd buy. You had, but you win. But how things going? Things are going good. Uh, is the vlog coming back? I mean, at some point, yes. The problem is that I used to have time to edit them. And I used to have time 
to film them. <laughs> and I just, I don't, I just, I just don't. And I, I want to, I do. I have my, look, here's my camera. It's right here. This is my, this is my vlogging camera. It's good. And hold on, I'm getting a phone call, which almost definitely means it's Beth because who else would call me at 1016? It is, hold on, hold please. Hello? Oh, hold on.
Uh, hold on, let me see some stuff here. Hold on.
Well, we're back. Thank you for hanging out in the meantime. I'm glad chair was very entertaining for you guys. <laughs> um, sorry. So the reason I had to get up was because um, three separate pizza delivery people showed up at my house almost simultaneously to deliver pizzas that I had not ordered. I can uh, only assume that it was someone watching uh, right here. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be a prank. It is uh, extremely not funny. It's an extreme invasion of privacy. It scared the crap out of my wife. They rang the doorbell. My kids are crying. Um, really not funny at all, at all. Um, you should really be pretty ashamed of yourself. It's really not very, very inconsiderate on a lot of levels. It wastes a lot of people's time. Um, really not cool. Really, really not cool. Whoever you are, I hope you, I hope you think it's funny. It's, um, I know you can do better. I'm sorry you felt the need to do that. Um, anyway. Really not cool. Um, really should not do stuff like that. That's, makes people feel very unsafe. So, yeah. Anyway, I think we're just going to end the stream. Sorry about that. Uh, not feeling it anymore. Anyway. I know most of you are super awesome people. Thank you so much for watching. Um, whoever you are, great. Uh, I know you can do better. I know you can do better. Uh, Anyway, good night to the rest of you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we'll do this again soon. And I will, uh, see you soon. I did not buy the pizza. Yeah. It was not paid for. It was not free pizza. Yeah. Anyway, sorry guys. Um, see you next time.